Welcome back, everybody, to my hardcore survival. I've been really, uh, really excited about this series. I've, I've gotten three videos uploaded today. One was the next episode. It was episode three. One was um, the house tour that you guys will be seeing. Um, probably will have already seen, actually. And then the other one was uh, about a world seed that I got from a friend. And so just getting all those videos out and published has me kind of pumped. So, anyways, uh, well, welcome to episode four of my survival. And we are going to begin our farm um, today. And first off, uh, our food farm. So first off, we're just gonna go around and break tons of, tons of grass and Hopefully get some more seeds because I only have two at the moment, um, and I'm not real high on on f meat right now. I've got two uh, two cooked pork chops and eh, nine. Well, I'll keep going a bit. Um, and some mutton, two muttons I think it is that are sitting waiting for me to pick up. Um, and so yeah, I I need to start getting my farm going so that I can continue to breed the uh, the sheep. So probably wouldn't hurt to just go around and kill a few pigs while I'm at it. Um, come here, piggy. So build up my experience too. I don't remember. Did I? I didn't build a. I didn't craft a um, enchantment table, did I? have the obsidian I think I have the obsidian for it but um, no I don't think I have the diamonds for it so probably not but oh and um, the program that I've been using to edit stuff is lightworks um, I used to use a program called video pad um, found that a while back and it it worked well enough but for those of you who may be into video editing, looking for something new, you want to get into video editing, um, VideoPad has... The interface is very old looking. Uh, it's kind of boring. It's, it looks... Uh, the visuals look more like Windows 95. Maybe, maybe 98. Yeah, probably more 98. Um, so it's very, very dated. Um, as far as the appearances go. Where should we put this? A good flat piece of land. Also going to need to drop some water in there. Let's do it up here. Um, so anyways, the look is very dated, and the interface is kind of kind of okay. It's difficult to deal with every now and then. The main reason that I left it was because... Um, for those, you know, those sequences where I'm doing something like this, where it's not real exciting, there's not much to talk about, because I'm just digging out stuff or building something. Um, those sections, in order to speed them up, I had to really bugger around with the program for a while to get it to do what it's supposed to do. Um, let's see. I think that was right one yeah um, and if you didn't do things just right uh, it would actually oh that was the wrong one oh, well. it would oh my hoe broke go make another one um, but what it would do is it would it would do one of several things uh, it would either clip off some material on the, uh, uh, let's just go ahead and do one, make an iron one, because we've got, we've got plenty of those materials. Um, but it would either clip off the end of the sequence before the sped up portion, it would clip off the beginning of the sequence after the sped up portion, or it would clip off some portion of the sped up section. And it got just got really, really irritating to have to redo it all the time. 
Um, but anyways, I I decided that it wasn't worth um, working with for a whole lot longer, and I decided to look for another something else, and so I found Lightworks. It was also highly recommended. Um, so it's a very good program, but it is a little bit confusing. It's a little bit um, a little bit intensive. So if you've never done video editing before, use something a little bit simpler. Um, you could probably get by with uh, Windows Movie Maker or something like that. But I will say, the power that you can get out of Lightworks is I should have used it all in one. And um, oh well, um, is definitely worth it if you've if you've got the the mind for a difficult program. So, but if you like things just to be simple, then Lightworks is definitely not for you. So, all right. Well, let's um, sleep off this night and actually grab ourselves some water because we used our water there for the farm. Oh, that's right. And then let's, um, oh, you know what? Let's grab this, co these coordinates before we head anywhere. That way, if we get lost, 936, 75, and negative 12, 32. Okay. Um, but anyways, so yeah, it's that's been partly what I've been dealing with the last uh, week or so. I've been really getting to know, and we are heading west, west. I've been getting to know Lightworks and getting a, a handle on it. You know what, we should probably, we probably should go ahead and, oh, red mushrooms. That'll be nice to actually get a mushroom farm going. We can do mushroom stew every now and then. Um, hello, chicken. Chicken. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been been dealing with the last couple of days. So, I've also been watching. Uh, if you haven't watched my video about the world seed yet. Um, go ahead and hop over and watch that. Uh, it's a seed that a friend gave me, and he got it, I believe, from watching uh, Syndicate, SynHD. Um, that English guy who's quite, uh, quite exuberant, we'll say. Um, <laughs> but, anyways, and it's a, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool seed. You'll... You'll see what I'm talking about if you go and take a look at the video. How many chickens is that? That should be... I think that should be good. Let's, um... Just make a furnace. I should have thought to grab some cobblestone and make one. Oh, got it. Okay. And we need some wood. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool world, world seed. Do, do, do. Should have also grabbed some spruce one before I left. So I think I had plenty of it, but... Um, oh well. It's not like the world is running out of wood. Not at all. Let's throw our chicken in. Actually, should we? Let's let's just do that. Make ourselves some uh, charcoal. That'll be a lot more efficient. Get a few charcoal out of this. And then actually finish cooking the... Uh, Chicken, yeah. Let's uh. Meanwhile, let's head down this cave. Oh look, there's some coal. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, can't hurt to grab it for the experience. I doubt this cave will go as much of anywhere. Mushrooms. Iron. Deep and dark. Mysterious and... Oh, dead end. Dead end. We could have like a our own little private swimming Oh, that's a deep swimming pool. No kids allowed. Um, yeah, much faster. <clears throat> On uh, multiplayer servers, um, I met somebody who... Uh, he didn't like to go... He didn't like to strip mine at all. Um, I don't know how much of that was because he's used to playing on servers that, uh, I don't know why I'm doing these, just, just cause I guess. Um, but, oops, he said that he didn't like to strip mine because that took too long. So, specifically, he just went caving. So what he would do is he would dig down, way down into the earth, and, um, when he felt like he got down low enough, you know, down to the diamond level or something like that, um, he would just go ahead and, uh, start going in one direction. He hit a cave, and then, ideally, that cave would be full of stuff, and you could just pull stuff off the surface rather than, uh, rather than digging for it all the way through and harvesting all the resources in one area. So, you know, it, it is kind of nice, actually, that there's lava around. I probably should use that as as cooking stuff. Last a lot longer. Okay, we can leave that there because it's not important. Um, well, no, just so we don't have to uh, make another one. Let's go ahead and grab them both. Okay, off we go. More mushrooms. There are a lot of mushrooms in this area. I have a lot more brown ones than red ones. Let's get the red one. Or the brown ones. Okay. Chicken. Chicken babe. So my uh my condition that uh Do I see? Do I see? No. Oh, we still need to actually get some of the uh whatever the white Dang it. Whatever that white tree is called. I don't remember what it's called. At some point but what I really need to get is either a cow, like I've been saying, or a village. Because, yes, we can use rabbits for, uh, for leather, but only if we can breed them. Be and they live off of carrots. Carrots are not easily obtainable. I suppose I could make a uh, zombie, uh, make a mob spawner, and then hope that a zombie would spawn in holding a carrot, but, <clears throat> but that would be quite a bit of trouble for a carrot. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I guess we'll see. It'll depend on if we actually run across anything today, but darn lag. Not quite sure what that is. My computer has been acting a little funky lately. Uh, YouTube actually has been the culprit. I don't know why, but hello. But YouTube has been, like, sucking my CPU usage. It's been maxing it out. No, well, not maxing it out. Like, putting it at, uh, putting it up at, in, like, 20%, where usually it's just YouTube running, and that only usually takes, like, 5% of mine, something like that. If I've got a bunch of tabs open. Turn. I don't want to get too far away. Hmm. But obviously, there's not a whole lot you can do without really traveling. 
Gosh dang it, what's with all the hills? This is horrible. It's just horrible. I'm not gonna get cow spawning. Maybe I'll just keep going as far as I can. Ooh, don't want to fall down there. And I'll just get home off screen. That way we can do some max adventuring. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Something that we can do. Sometimes I wish I had uh, an easy way to, to keep a map of the areas I've gone to. You know, so you could see the, the chunks that you've loaded. See kind of the trail. Let's go that way. The trail of chunks loaded and stuff. Without having a mod, it'd be nice to be able to have like some sort of a... Oh, yes! I don't have any wheat. Bugger. Bugger. Well, um... I hate to say it, but I think we're just going to have to farm out some wheat right now because I need cows to come with me. If I just get two cows, that'll be fine because even if it takes a while to grow them, man, it's getting late. Um, um, anyways, even if it takes a while to get them home, I mean, what else are you going to do? Got the resources to get cows going. So, hello cows. I guess one advantage to this is that maybe if uh, some skeletons spawn, and, uh, but I don't want to be down here. This is not a very good spot. Um, we can get some bone meal if skeletons spawn, and that could help speed up the process a little. This looks like a good good place to spend the night. What is that? Yeah, oh, that'd be easier. Okay. Nothing. Of course if we had a bed, we could also do that. But nope. Of course not. Squid. Squiggly squid. Okay. I think I'll just speed up the night. Yep. Well, that's nice. We got our, our bone meal. I guess I didn't even need to, really to plant three of them, but oh well. It doesn't hurt to have some extra. You poor cow, you're stuck up there in the tree. Um, well, let's uh, head on home, I guess. Hopefully we do not get... Oh gosh, it'd be so bad if we got ambushed by a creeper. Come on. Come on. You know you want to come. There you go. There you go. Maybe I should push them. There. Go away, zombie. Nobody loves you. Not even your mother. <laughs> yes, sometimes I can be kind of mean. <laughs> but hey, he's a zombie. He doesn't care. He has no heart. Doesn't have any brains either. Nobody's made that joke before. Cat, where, where did you go, cow? Oh, you're right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoops. Whoops. Come on, cow. <laughs> 
if we have an extra one of you, our odds of getting one home will getting two home will be better. Come on, cow. Uh. Hello. There you go. There you go. Come on. And there's the zombie. I'm really glad there's only one zombie. All right, cows. Homeward Bound. That was a good movie. Actually, they were both good movies. The original one and the new one. Well, I say new. It was made like when I was five. Maybe. So, yeah, if you haven't seen those, actually, those are those are pretty good. Oh, and another cow. Sweet. Sweet. Higher chances. Higher chances, folks. Chance, actually, was one of the... One of the dog's names. So, yeah. Higher chances. All around. This is one of the worst things to have to do. Oh, should we go... Let's go through the... Through the, uh... Ravine here. Go on, zombie. Get out of here. Next to your piggy brethren, who are not really zombies, thankfully. Because otherwise they'd be all attacking me since I killed them. Come on, cow. Come on. Don't leave us alone. We can do this without you, but it would be much better with you. We're stronger together. Actually, I'm stronger together. You're just gonna die. You and your babies. All of them. Although, statistically, it is possible that one of these cows will survive. All of the cullings. It's certainly possible. Not likely. Not statistically likely. But it is possible. Come on. I don't really know why I went up this way. Would have been probably better just to go down there. Yeah, I would have been able to get up there much easier. Uh, we, we have two cows. We lost two of them. Oh, come on now. How now, brown cow? Must What must the do? Uh, you two. Come on. Come on. If you all come and join in the fun, the farm will be that much better. Okay, I'm just going to cut the rest of this to be fast. Because that's... I'm just getting boring now. Okay. You're so small. 
so I did decide to just go ahead and cut through because that was just way, way too long. Um, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that so wonderful and wondrous and inspiring? I have three cows now. Three cows. I was worried I'd have to build it up from two. And I was worried, actually, that I would only have one because twice I was attacked by skeletons and they were shooting my cows. So, um, on two occasions I thought that they had died, but I found both of them, um, one after the other. I was down to one cow, and then I found the other two wandering nearby, one over that direction and one over that direction. But, hey, we have cows, leather, books, all the good stuff. Okay, so, yeah, that's our big achievement for this round, and we will see you next time. Bye.